Hello friends, welcome to Topper's World. My name is Praveen Kumar and I am having an interesting but little challenging topic for you. This topic is recently asked to one of the student in real exam situation. So I got this topic today and I would like to discuss this topic with you because I found that this topic is challenging, a little difficult. So let's see what the topic is. Describe an interesting discussion. Interesting discussion you had about how you spend your money. कोई मजेदार discussion तो अभी कैसे ना हुई है and uh, discussion the topic है how you spend your money तो उसी अपने पैसे की में खर्च करते हो. Who you had discussion with तो अभी discussion के दिन आल सी. Why you discussed this topic तो उसी ये topic क्यों discuss की था? What the result of the discussion was? इस डिस्कशन का नतीजा की निकलिया एंड वाई दिस डिस्कशन वॉज इंटरस्टिंग फॉर यू ये थोड़े लिए क्यों इंटरस्टिंग सी सो स्टूडेंट्स तुम अपनी पॉकेट मनी के बारे गल कर सकते हो कि तुम अपनी पॉकेट मनी किमें खर्च करते हो और कि पॉकेट मनी मिलती है और तुम उस खर्चे को सैटिस्फाइड हो या तुम चाहते हो कि थोड़ी पॉकेट मनी होर वधाई जाए ये टॉपिक भी डिस्कशन कर सकते हो तो अपने फ्रेंड ने डिस्कशन की है तो अपने किसी टीचर ने डिस्कशन की थी मदर न फादर न लाइक दिस तो मैं एक इतने सैंपल पेश कर रहा थोड़े लिए आई ऑफन लाइक टू हैव डिस्कशन विद माई नीयर एंड नीयर वनस दैट इंक्लूड माई पेरेंट्स माई फ्रेंड्स ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स बिकॉज आई बिलीव दैट थ्रू डिस्कशन वी लर्न मोर एंड आवर ability of debating argumenting increase here i would like to speak about one very healthy discussion i had a couple of days ago with my friend mohit and the subject of the discussion was how both of us spend money and actually i was uh, telling i i i told him that uh, i just do not get enough pocket money from my parents and uh, Uh, I every week get one uh, thousand uh, rupees, but my one thousand rupees finish by the end of uh, Thursday or Friday, and uh, for two days I remain without money. So I told him about this, and he asked me that on what kind of things I spend my money. Then I told him that I have to buy petrol for my bike, mobile recharge. I also go to the restaurant with my friends to eat food. and um, sometimes i go to theater to watch movie then uh, he told me that you waste lot of money on unnecessary things he, he told me that or even advised me that i should change my style of living and uh, instead of uh, watching movies in theater i i can watch he suggested me that you can watch movie on mobile phones on uh, movie channels are there where there is a free downloading and he also suggested me that instead of uh, Uh, having a monthly mobile recharge i should go for three months package which is very cheaper and as far as bike petrol expenditures he said that instead of going to college on bike uh, you should go on uh, you should go by bus and bus fares are very cheaper for the students then i paid attention towards his talks and thought i gave it, uh, deep thought to such suggestions and i found that really these uh, suggestions would work for me and uh, in this way i would be able to save enough money and my i could manage my full week so the result of the discussion was that i i i really liked the way he gave me the suggestions and uh, the result was that i would be able to have enough money for full week i found that discussion was very interesting because uh, my friend mohit gave me many examples from his own life the practical examples that he uh, he was he has been following for last so many uh, years and he said that he is having his own saving account and in which he has saved nearly 45000 rupees so it is really very interesting and amazing for me that how a student of class plus 2 managed to save 45000 from his pocket money and uh, so the It, this news gave me a lot of motivation and i, I little felt guilty on myself that i had uh, no bank account or no savings so from uh, the discussions with my friend mohit i learned that saving is very important money is very important and without money 
uh, we can't fulfill our dreams so we should save money and spend money uh, on unnecessary things only we should not waste money on unnecessary things and the spending should be judiciously done so that was the end of that discussion and it was really very interesting discussion so students this is one of the example of this topic now i'm uh, discussing with you the uh, part 3 questions part 3 questions of uh, ielts task is very important and uh, just wait for uh, some seconds and i show you the questions so part 3 first question is why do some parents why do some parents give their children money to spend each week give their children kyon parents har hafte apne bachiyon nu paise dende ne kharch karan de layi give is a first form so present indefinite tense use karega yes in these days parents uh, like to give money to their children as a pocket money to maintain their expenditures like they need to buy some stationary items uh, at the school or most of the children in these days study away from their homes so they need to manage their expenditures so at that time or sometime parents are not with them so they can uh, buy the things that they need from their own pocket so in this way parents give money to their children so that they can manage their expenditures on stationary or other basic items then next question is do you agree that schools should teach children how to manage money ki tonu lagda hai ki schoolan nu chahida bachya nu eh sikhana ki paise aan te sahi istemal kive karna kita jana chahida kive apne kharche manage karne chahide ne yes it is good idea because school is the place where children learn a lot of skills so how to manage money is a big skill very important skill and it uh, uh, it is uh, you know required throughout the life so i think that it is a great idea if the school teach the children how to manage money how to uh, spend and how to save like this these kind of things should be taught to every student do you think it is good idea for students to earn money while studying ki acha idea hai ki students study de dauran paise kamaan apne pocket expenditures khud kadan yes it is a great idea but it should be uh, with mature children like who are studying in senior secondary or in college level small children should be allowed to study only and play but the students who are above 16 17 and uh, who are mature they should be given uh, uh, opportunities to earn money reason being that it will teach them or give them practical knowledge about what is actually happen- happening in the outside world and uh, how difficult it, it is to earn money and it, uh, with this way they also get a sense of uh, how to spend money uh, on necessary things or how to spend money judiciously in intelligent way not to waste the money so they understand the value of money in this way do you think in today's society money cannot buy happiness ki paise de naal apna happiness aaj de samaj ch nahi khareed sakde at the time de vich yes it is true that we cannot buy happiness with money happiness is something different which is totally internal feeling and it cannot be with the uh, money by money you can buy car you can buy your luxury items but uh, that happiness is only for short period of time when the utility will be over then after that uh, the situation will uh, remain same so we should not attach our happinesses with our uh, money or status or uh, the power to spend so happiness should be something like like by donating others by helping others this is a big and internal feeling which we cannot associate with money do you think richer countries have a responsibility to help poor countries ki ameer deshan di zimmedari bandi hai gareeb deshan di madad karni hai yes of course it is their uh, moral duty to help uh, poor countries because uh, i believe that if the gap will increase between rich and poor countries then uh, there will be issues of safety and security the poor countries people will be very vulnerable they can become a soft target of uh, uh, you know creating terrorism and uh, they can uh, you know indulge in looting theft cases and uh, uh, such con- such poor countries or people of such poor countries can be uh, a-, a danger to other well developed countries so if we want that the whole earth the whole world should be a peaceful place then there should be equality 
equality to large extent. I know that it cannot be 100%, but it should be equality to large extent. So rich countries should share their wealth with their poor countries. They should help them uh, to stand on their own feet. They should help them in basic infrastructure, education, employment, setting up of industry. So in this way, rich countries can help the poor countries. So students, uh, this is the whole topic of the day. We have learned uh, part two Q card and after that part three discussion. I hope that you have enjoyed it and you will prepare your topic accordingly. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.